a very good morning my dear students it's indeed my proud privilege and uh, honor to stand among you today and welcome each one of you to this wonderful community of de christians down the memory lane i do remember that day when i was in yosit almost 38 years ago in a time when there was no e world you are sitting there in a virtual e world today feeling a million different emotions and asking yourself a million different questions did i make the right choice is this worth to be here and maybe many more similar questions must be coming to your mind at this moment but i can tell you my dear friends absolutely your decision was perfect your admission here is not the gift of covid pandemic don't think that way in fact i can assure each and every one of you that you are here because you deserve to be here today and because you can bring something new and exciting to this diverse learning community so my beloved children you are most welcome to the wonderful campus of deen bandhu choturam university of science and technology i want to tell you another point many of you must have uh, tried to get into other institutions like iits nits and maybe similar institutions and uh, now you are here one point what i want to tell you is there is not much difference between where you have enrolled it is you you are going to make the difference whatever subject you are taken whichever field you are going to pursue a career in your life is fully dependent on you because it's all up to the kind of affection and love what you are going to do to the subject that the subject will give you back in return even i want to tell the parents who are listening me today maybe many of your acquaintances may tell you like why did you put him or her in that particular branch you could have sent him or sent her to that and this all these has no meaning my dear friends every branch is equally good or equally bad it is up to the student as to decide how he want to change it i take this occasion to share four small stories with these beloved budding engineers i was born in a very remote village almost uh, 2600 or 700 km away from here in extreme south in a state called kerala and my school was almost i'm talking about my primary school which was almost uh, one and a half to two kilometers away from my home so every day from first standard onwards we had to walk up and down the whole different whole distance and since most of the villages have a life connected to a temple i was also uh, born and brought up in such a uh, locality and situation so my life was more connected to a temple early morning we have to get up take bath in the river go to temple and do your job and come back and then go to school so almost all of us 
from the village, we were walking to school barefoot. I mean, we didn't have a slipper or a shoes or any kind of footwear. Because those days, we never thought that it is a requirement. Because to the temple, you cannot use a slipper or a shoes. You have to get in with a bare foot. So the same thing you are accustomed with and you find it more comfortable while walking with a bare foot. And when I graduated from my fourth standard to fifth standard, I moved to a high school nearby. At that time, my father decided to present me uh, a pair of slippers. And the funniest part is, early days, my, uh, my body was not, or my uh, feet was not accepting that uh, slipper as a foreign body. It took a couple of days to adjust with my feet. This, this is the case with most of us. I am not telling it as my own story. Then, uh, the high school was almost 5 kilometers. So, we had to walk up and down 5 by 5, almost 10 kilometers. And this was a routine habit. Probably that helped us to make our feet much more stronger and even today we can walk a lot. There is no issue. And then the first story what I want to tell you is regarding the language. Since we are all from the villages, I know many of my students who have taken up admission here must also be from some neighboring villages. We do all our studies in the local language, in the mother tongue. And by the time when you move to a study like engineering, all the subjects are dealt in English. My first difficulty was this. Because English was just Greek and Latin to me. I was not able to understand. Slowly we picked up technical terms. It is difficult but still put all the effort and uh, learned. But in my final year, still I remember in the campus recruitment, when Times of India came for uh, campus and uh, they gave uh, three subjects for uh, group discussion. One had one word policy deteriorated the quality of Indian democracy. Necessity of drafting agricultural graduates in India. Long-term planning is irrelevant in the dynamic growth of modern technology. So my group decided to ponder upon a subject called long-term planning. And they were interested to talk about long-term planning is irrelevant. But I want to say long-term planning is relevant. But my major issue was my language. <clears throat> I was not able to communicate properly. I was more like a spectator looking on both sides to the group. The group discussion was uh, taken by uh, Professor Yashpalji, who became the chairman of UGC later. He came to me and asked, what happened to you? Why you are keeping quiet? I told him, I was in the verge of crying almost. I told him, Sir, I come from a village and uh, I am not able to speak in English like what others are doing. Looking at my face, he had a sympathy. He asked me only one thing. Are you confident about your mother tongue? I told, yes, sir. Can you communicate well in your mother tongue? Yes, sir. And my mother tongue is Malayalam. Uh, which is a very tough language. By chance, if some of the listeners who have any connection to that part of the world or any pedigree from that side must be knowing, it's a very tough language. So, he told if you are good in your mother tongue, you can also learn any number of languages. I touched his feet, took his blessings and told, sir, I'll put all my effort to see that I'll improve my communications in the coming time. So he gave me a target of uh, three years' time and I accepted it. 
and I put all my effort and by three years time I was able to communicate properly at least and that journey still continues this is my first story which I want to tell you which must be true with many of you so don't worry about a language language is just a language to communicate your idea that has nothing to do with the knowledge or that has nothing to do with any greatness and when you speak a language let it be english latin german or anything naturally there could be a possibility of a touch of the mother tongue in the pronunciation you can't help it because that is what is your mother tongue okay you can make improve you can do better it's a different thing but you don't need to be more worried about it you must communicate properly and the the clarity in your presentation must be good that's all you don't need to pronounce or speak like a brit or an american because that is their mother tongue suppose when you speak if there is a slight tongue of haryanvi or a punjabi nothing wrong in that because you have to be proud of it i am proud of that if there is a slight tongue of mine coming from malayalam no issue because it's my mother tongue otherwise i'll be rejecting my own mother which you can't do then the second story what i want to tell you is about uh, the branch what i opted in my engineering i decided to take up my uh, undergraduate studies in a branch called uh, printing engineering and when i decided to opt this particular branch including my father my family members were against me because they thought what is there to study in a branch like printing they thought that i am a lazy guy and i am not interested in studies but when i did my undergraduate studies btech then mtech and phd's i did uh, an international uh, postgraduate diploma in printing and packaging in germany and many studies in printing uh, i could be first in many occasions when it comes to printing because there were not much people who have taken up this branch as a choice and today if you ask me whatever i have become today is only because that i studied printing so what branch you have opted in life is not important it is immaterial it is you you have to make a difference the very same printing engineering gave me an opportunity to travel around the globe more than 50 countries and uh, maybe roughly 77 universities all this happened because of this branch of study and even from the academic field if you look to become the vice chancellor of a university is the biggest dream of any academician that to in a government university reputed like ours and i am doing it in my second tenure now recently government has given me an extension and i am doing my second tenure so what else you want so this is my second story now the third story what i want to tell you is like many of you many of these uh, young boys who have just enrolled in our university for uh, undergraduate studies all of us had a big dream like you in our school days to become a sub inspector because the attire of a sub inspector and the style and the villagers the kind of respect they gave to such a position normally uh, all the boys in our age in schools will get fascinated towards such a job so my dream was also to become a sho or a sub inspector in a local police station and later uh, when we grew further our uh, uh, admiration towards uh, army people started so then the dream changed from a sub inspector to an army officer i am sure many of you also must be having similar uh, thinking is your mind so 
I also tried my uh, level best on those days to get into an army selection once and I passed the written examinations and uh, end of the program uh, when the uh, color blindness test came they usually do it with an Ishihara test it's a color palette book in which with the different color patterns you have to read the numbers and by the time I reached the last pages of the book I was not able to differentiate the numbers and I realized I am colorblind and just because of that reason I got rejected out of uh, selection and I was so sad that day because colorblindness is not my problem it's not my fault it's a genetical issue because the X chromosome what we get I'm talking about male boys uh, we have an XY chromosome and girls have an XX chromosome so X chromosome is responsible for color perception so if that X chromosome what I inherited is defective then I am not able to differentiate certain colors. And anyway, to cut the long story short, uh, I got rejected that time. I was so sad. And you may think why I am mentioning such a story today. Few months ago, exactly speaking in the month of Feb, around February 22nd and in March 2020, the month of March 2020, uh, government of India conferred an honorary colonel to me and also appointed as the colonel commandant for the National Cadet Corps of uh, Haryana, Punjab, Chandir and Himachal Pradesh, this region. You just tell me what else I want. At one point of time, I was rejected to get into army and the very same army gave me an honorary title of the colonel. What I want to tell you from all these is there is nothing a loss in life. You may feel something you lost, but nothing. If you have that deep passion and if you can go behind it, you can get it. Those who have read that book of Alchemist by Paolo Coelho, it talks about it. When you really want to aim with a deep passion for something, all the constellations will come and arrange or set in such a way that it just happens. How it happens, we have no explanation, but it will happen and it happened in my life too. I'm not trying to market myself or sell myself, but I just shared actual real story of a villager like me. And if a simple uh, average family villager like me could do this much, you people can do much wonders because you are much more intelligent than any one of us. And you are so good in understanding that digital equipment, that noise making instrument, that family troubling instrument through which you are watching me and listening me now. Uh, you are the best in using such gadgets. And the whole world is near you in what single touch the whole world is with you so information is ubiquitous in today's world you have all kinds of information with you and you know how to use it so it's only your uh, passion the fire in your belly that is going to decide where you are going to reach it so to my friends who are listening to me what i want to tell you is this number one don't worry and bother anything about the branch which you have chosen today. So many people will tell so many things, just forget it. Fall in love with that subject which you have chosen. And number two, don't worry about your language. Few of them may be very good in communicating in English and some other languages. You don't need to worry about it because uh, again I am repeating, language is not the measurement of knowledge. It's only a medium to communicate. This is number two. And number three, uh, you focus on what you want to do. 100% you can achieve that because each one of you are very, very unique. That is why you are born in this planet Earth and you are very different. You are very capable. So nobody can replace you. So you don't need to compare with anybody else other than you. You compare only with yourself 
and future will be with you there is no doubt about it and now i uh, what i want to tell you on the other part is about where the world is going today of course we are suffering from this uh, pandemic world uh, covid 19 we are we have almost uh, passed quite good time now and we know how to deal with that so we all have to mentally prepare to uh, move through such a tough time some or a couple of months more physically you you are not able to visit this beautiful campus don't worry we also don't have any life without you but we have no other option that's why i am communicating to you in this way and within a couple of months you will be able to visit the campus and enjoy this this is one of the best campuses physical infrastructure what you have in the uh, in the in the near places of delhi there is no doubt so without you we have no life in the campus so more than what you miss we are missing you we are waiting for that day uh, in which you all will come here otherwise my dear friends this day would have been like an utsav because you will be moving around a bustling place lot of things happening chit chatting enjoying parents meeting each other exchanging with i mean meeting teachers it it's like a wonderful time but we miss all those bus now because of this but nevertheless there is a medium like this through which i could talk to you i could communicate you so this is the uh, digital disruption what is happening now one way it is an advantage because it's an option or opportunity for all of us to uh, move to the next level whether we like it or not it is going to happen and it will happen and we know that this artificial intelligence and uh, big data digital twin uh, virtual services augmented reality virtual reality all these are going to happen and this is going to change the world in the coming time the whole customers will be connected internet of things Uh, and and the whole economy is moving to a platform what we call it as a platform economy and digital business mode everything is moving to digital mode all these changes are happening in the coming time so we have to prepare very well and uh, an interdisciplinary study will help you to become much more stronger so you have to be ready for a change and every time keep on updating yourself there is no other go even i can't suggest now what you should do after 4 years because 4 years is a long time by the time lot of technologies will change lot of things will happen so you have to prepare your mind to make a real change so that you can conquer the world and again coming back to this university this is one of the refined best universities because we have been already accredited Uh, by tcs as an a class institution so our students are paid more salaries i mean the highest salaries by tcs and uh, on an average 100 127 kind of students are recruited every year and like that there are many other uh, companies and when i look at my alumni i can tell you we have the best alumni in all segments for for a for an example the current year uh, of uh, upsc for the civil service examination the country's topper was our student is from here only so it's not just ias it is in ips and industry ceos and uh, uh, even employees who are working in government and in private companies there are lot of uh, top officials who have passed out from our uh, institute so they all will be there to help you in the coming time this is another advantage with uh, chotoram university of science and technology now my dear friends just before concluding uh, let me offer you some very simple advice uh, for how to make the uh, best of your experience uh, here number 1 share your knowledge and skills don't keep them to yourself challenge yourself and your peers on a daily basis 
peers in the sense both parents and teachers doesn't mean that i am giving you a license to trouble them never ever trouble them but you must challenge yourself and all the peers that's a way uh, you can you can grow and learn and uh, i'm telling you in advance don't trouble anybody it is very clear then at the same time amicably move with your friends support one another's passion for education and overall development of the entire society community family country and develop some best practices that others can emulate and benchmark and absorb everything that can add value in life and uh, uh, all you all should have enough fun here and you must learn to celebrate your life it's not just uh, like that and uh, uh, in the in the not just here you must celebrate your life in your family in your department and in the whole world and uh, before concluding i wish you a very safe time ahead and uh, one thing we have to understand now uh, it's it's the time to embrace digital because uh, virtual is the real now that's the new normal we have to accept it so try to make the best use of it and grow in your life we are here to guide you and the parents who are listening me today i tell you you are all the blessed ones that is why your wards could get into a university like ours you are also most welcome whenever you are free and whenever you feel just walk in not just to the department you can meet the deans you can meet anybody you want and my office is always open for you just send an information before and come here we are here to serve you in fact and to guide your children and till this age you have uh, guided them and brought them into this level and now i believe it is our responsibility to see that they will be molded in the right fashion and i guarantee each one of you that i will give you back them as a useful son or a useful daughter or useful brother or useful sister this is what our guarantee it is not just that uh, we will give them a degree with a distinction which i can't say which they have to earn but one thing i can guarantee you that in this campus we will focus a lot in their character and their human nature so we will try to add all these values in them whatever you have already given to them with that note let me conclude and thank and wish each one of you a wonderful time ahead and a virus free year ahead thank you so much